Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Just going to be a really quick brief one today. Uh, we've just got a Saab 9.3 in with a 2 litre turbo. It's not a car that we usually work on um, and here in Perth there's like no dealers to get new parts from so we sort of tend to steer away from them. This one just had a check engine light on and it had P0033 turbo bypass control circuit. Um, so I'll just give you a little rundown. So I've just got the smoke tester in there just to confirm that that's okay. So we just want to confirm there's no leaks or anything like that being the bypass circuit. Um, it's probably not going to have any the, what essentially the bypass circuit is so we have our bypass valve here and this goes down onto the the turbo and essentially what is happening what the bypass valve does is when the turbo makes too much boost this valve kicks in and basically wastes a lot of the boost it's like the blow off valve essentially um, we have the wastegate up there as well so it's like a a, a way to limit the boost so the turbo one, um, so this one is the turbo boost controller. This sits up the back here. And then the one down the front that sits under the cover is a turbo bypass valve. So this valve in our case is bad. We're struggling to find one. Um, but essentially it's when your car creates too much boost, this valve kicks in and drops some of that boost off. So, uh, we're going to try and find one, but yeah, P0033 turbo bypass circuit. Um, it's good to check, obviously, you have no boost leaks. Check that your solenoids are working. I pulled them off and I ohmed them both out. This was 24 ohms, 25 ohms, which is pretty typical for vacuum switching valves. Um, make sure you've got no leaks in your vacuum lines and stuff like that. And down here, so we have this one runs to the boost sensor this one goes onto the manifold and this one uh, runs down the side here and goes and joins up on the back you do i believe in some models have a plastic line here which can be that can be split this one's a steel line um, which is obviously all good in our case but yeah vacuum switching valve uh, for the boost uh, bypass and that's your part numbers there and this is for your boost control. So yeah, just a couple of things to check, look out for on your Saab 9.3 2 litre turbo models. Uh, it has two, two valves, one's up the back, one's under a cover, so don't get confused between the two. So please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and catch you the next one.